For those of you who don't know, he's not diagnosed as a narcissist, but very, very similar um, experiences with my ex. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a special guest and we're gonna talk about the philosophy of love. Sobrang saya because I just started my channel this year, like two months ago maybe, and big time na agad yung guest natin. So I just wanna share with you how we talk whenever we start our day recording Sleeping Pill. I realized pala while editing the video, sobrang kalat ko mag-explain and ang dami kong kinakat na parts ko kasi ang haba. <laughs> Since I want my videos to be educational kahit na nag-uusap lang kami, naglagay ako ng mga text in between. If you wanna know more about the things that I wanna say, you can just pause the video and read for a while. Well, nasa inyo naman yun if you don't have enough mental energy to digest what I'm talking about. Like for example, pagod guys sa biyahe or you just wanna relax, skip nyo na lang and gawin nyo na lang reference in the future if may gusto kayong balikan sa mga sinabi ko. So for now, here's the full video. My body is hella sore. Kasi mm-hmm. diba si Matt, my boyfriend, he recently got certified. Diba I was telling you about that last time? Yeah, oo. It was one of those things na parang pinag-usapan namin before when we first started dating. He gave me kasi a program to, to work out and stuff like that. Oh, and then no. it was working so well. Anong ginawa mo over the weekend? I was thinking about this content because... Yeah! Sinabi ko yung kay girlfriend, I'm doing videos with you. Mm-mm. Since we talked about Matt and my girlfriend, pag-usapan natin ngayon yung love. Okay. But with a little touch of philosophy. Which is what we do best. We always do this kasi. Uh, on Mondays and Thursdays, I record sleeping pill. I told MJ that I always a lot, and I also told Matt actually, I a lot an hour every time I get here. Kasi nag-uusap kami ni MJ, nag-discuss kami. And then it always has like a philosophy there. Usual kasi na napag-uusapan yung love like sa friends and Mm-mm. family. Rare yung napag-uusapan siya in the context of philosophy. Mm-hmm. One of the best quotes na tumatak sa akin is yung quote ni Rene Descartes. The reading of all good books is like conversation with the finest men of past centuries. So, paganda siguro na balikan mm-hmm. natin yung mga thoughts ng mga previous na mga tao Mm-mm. and i-compare natin what do people think about love now. But, I thought of something different. So, magbibigay ako ng quote. Mm-hmm. It's a philosophical quote. Tell me what you think about it. You can agree or disagree and you can leave a memory na related doon. Okay, sige. Okay. This quote is from Plato from his book entitled Symposium. Yung Symposium, it's like an after-party drinking session. Ang setting nun, kita-kita sila ng mga intellectuals din during their time. Kasama din si Socrates, Aristophanes, and mga ibang niece, 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 niece. If a man can be properly said to love something, it must be clear that he feels affection for it as a whole and does not love part of it to the exclusion of the rest. So that means that when a man loves something, he loves something wholeheartedly and not yeah. just like part and parcel. Oh yeah, I definitely love wholeheartedly, but that's talking about like a romantic love. What do I think of that, true or false? I can't say because I have only been loved by men. So oh. I don't know how men love yeah. because I've not been in their brains. I can't speak for them. In my experience, false. For narcissists, someone who is a narcissist, they would not love you entirely. They love you for what you make them feel. And then they will try to change every single little part of you. In my experience, is something I don't agree with. For those of you who don't know, he's not diagnosed as a narcissist, but very, very similar um, experiences with my ex. Oops. Love makes us whole again. I would agree with a little bit of that. Okay. In a sense, getting into a healthy relationship after coming out of a bad one, it doesn't necessarily make you whole again, but it does help heal wounds that came from toxic relationships. Okay. When my ex and I broke up, I took a long time to heal. And after a while, I thought I was okay now. I was just like, I'm good. Like, I don't even care about him, whatever. And then I got into a relationship now with Matt. And I started getting triggered with different things that I didn't even realize na parang, ah oh shit, trigger ako. Uh-huh. Parang, bakit? I thought I was okay. But that's because I was healed in the context of me being single. Yeah. But I still needed to heal that part of me who loves. Okay, okay. That can only come about when you are faced with the same circumstances. Circumstances, okay. Can you tell na... Quote and quote, kinompleto ka ni Matt. No, that's me. Okay. I needed to complete myself, but Matt has been instrumental to helping me heal myself. 
Okay. So I don't believe that love makes us whole entirely. Yeah. I don't believe that entirely. But there is some truth to that. So we talked about Plato. A lot of Christian theology that we follow now is following Plato. There is a theory of forms. Yung copy lang to. Itong realm na to. And then there's an mm. ideal place dun galing yung ganong klaseng theology ng Christianity. So, right, right, right. Which comes to my third quote. This is from Apostle Paul, from the book of Corinthians. So, bali, kinakonsider din siyang philosopher Mm-mm. sa theology. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. I love that quote. I think there's a reason why it is one of the most overused wedding vows yeah, ever. Because it, it's true, right? Eh, you know how when people say, uh, it's such a cliche, but you know, cliches happen for a reason. Yeah. It becomes a cliche because it happens so often. I have a friend, his name is Danny. What's up, Danny? He told me that his pastor said something to him that really made an impact. He said it to me and it made an impact to me. Right. If you meet someone and you want to know if they're like a good person or someone worthy of your love, okay. you replace the word love in those verses with the name of the person. Cool. And if it rings true, then you have a good person on your nice. on your hands. May mga times pag nasa loob ka na ng relationship, may cognitive dissonance eh. Ah, makikita mo na nagiging impatient siya minsan. Oo. When people refer to the Bible, we also must remember that they're talking about love. Yeah, oo. Love well, as its as it perfect is. form. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Love yeah. is patient. Love is kind. Yeah. But we are not in our perfect form eh, yeah. as humans. Yeah. So, of course, there will be times when I will get impatient, when my boyfriend gets impatient, when they're not kind, yeah, when course. when they boast. Because we can't always be, so we have to be as perfect as love. Yeah. Oh. So we give ourselves grace diba, when that happens. Because oh. eh, they say, diba, tao lang, tao lang. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> Sorry na, tao lang. But oh. it's also true diba, when you yeah, use it oh. in that sense, tao lang. Oh. So I believe in that. And I believe that it's a good barometer when you replace the word love with the name of yeah. someone you love. Yeah. Or even your mom with the name of, of your mom, the oh. name of your dad, the name of your sibling, the name of your friend. I think that we should also remember that we will never be able to be perfectly patient, perfectly yeah. kind, perfectly hopeful. Yeah. When we look at the person as a whole, yeah. diba? Monique is patient. Yeah, Monique is kind Uh-oh. as a whole. And she is very. Uh, diba? <laughs> and it's like, when you look at that verse, it's something to remind us. Yeah. Diba? I love that quote. I super love yeah. that quote. It's a good reminder. I wouldn't frame it and put it in my house. <laughs> you know what I mean? But <laughs> it's, it's a good thing to like tell yourself at night yeah. or to read to yourself. Diba? I told you, I, I look at myself in the mirror sometimes and I have a conversation with myself. Because that's when I, parang, this is where I can be honest. Na parang, Come on, you're jealous of the success of this yeah. person. Yeah, I kind of am. And then, you know, when you admit these things out loud, that's when you can kind of start the work. Diba? Na parang, okay, why are you jealous? I feel like I'm not getting the same. Uh, gonna, okay, okay. Then how do we fix that, etc. It's the same like with love. Parang, it's a good reminder. Oh, Inka, ha? love is patient, love is kind. Diba? We even had to talk about that because yeah. we had a conversation na parang, uh-huh. fighting with our significant others. Mm-mm. Um, sometimes you gotta take a deep breath, right? Yeah. Like and then you just pill. gotta, yeah, just like sleeping pill it, you know. If if you're fighting, I plug. If you're fighting mm-hmm. with your significant other, you yeah. listen to an episode of Sleeping Pill Muna. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good tip. You have to remember that you're you're on the same side. You're fighting not each other, but the problem. Yeah. You're trying to fix the problem together. Imagine when that quote comes up when you're fighting. Yeah. How will that make you feel? What do you think when you see that quote? Yeah, tibit ko siya dun sa form ni Plato, yung perfect form of love. Yan yung dapat mag- basis, yun yung attribute ng love eh. Mm-mm. Although, syempre, people might feel like unachievable siya. But It's because, not supposed to be achievable. Oh, oh, eh, hindi siya eh. Yeah. Oh, oh. It should be like, ano eh, an anchor lang. Yeah. I think that's the beauty in it. 
mm. being unachievable so you uh, keep striving to get there um, but to give uh, respect naman sa ating mga christian friends ang theology naman nila dito is only one person is capable to do it and that's jesus yeah mm. yan naisip ko dito hindi lang siya sa romantic relationship mm. so, kung babalikan natin yung iba't ibang forms of love Coming from Plato's writings, merong agape, philea, eros. I think eros is the romantic love. The romantic love, love yeah. yeah. And I think all-encompassing. Na medyo naging religious tayo. Medyo magiging bastos tayo ng slide. Oh, sige. So this one is from 1700s, forward tayo. Okay. So si Arthur Schopenhauer. So ang sinabi niya, Every kind of love, however ethereal it may seem to be, springs entirely from the instinct of sex. Parang yung love is tricking us to make us babies. What can you say about it? <laughs> Context <laughs> lang. Si Arthur Schopenhauer, isa siya sa mga pessimistic philosophers of all oh. time. Yeah, so parang... Which is good also. But like I said, but it's important to have those like polarizing opinions. So you can explore everything in between. Okay. Like just because you believe in something here doesn't make you completely this. Just because you believe in something here doesn't make you completely this also. Mm-hmm. But I always believe in degrees and nuances. I like reading about things like that. So what did he say? He said... Every love is based on a sexual instinct. I agree to a certain extent extent. Okay. I think it depends din eh. Kasi, for example, there are people you become friends with that you're not necessarily attracted to, no. but you became friends because of circumstance. Your office friends, yeah. your classmates. But like the people that you seek out for friendship, yeah. I think there is a subconscious feeling of, I like the way this person looks. Yeah. You know, not necessarily, I want to breed you. <laughs> you know? yeah. Not necessarily jumping to that agad. Uh, but it's more of like a subconscious, this person mm-hmm. is very pleasing to my eyes. It's something that will attract you to them, to talk to them. And then yeah. you discover that you have stuff in common, you want to be friends. I'm not saying that you are only friends with people that you're attracted to, but you tend to approach the people that you find pleasing to your eyes or that you are attracted to. There is some truth in that. He mm. is very pessimistic mm. uh, because I can hear him almost like, you know, you think you're in love, but it's just <laughs> your body yeah. wanting to procreate. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is also true. That's mm. what the hormones are for, yeah. right? uh uh-uh. But it's like what they say, right? Parang we also had this conversation before I asked you, oh. is it true for your end mm-hmm. that guys will not hang out with a girl that they don't find attractive? Like purposely yeah. seek out the company of a girl. Like, parang, hey, you want to hang out on Friday? Uh, Yung ganon. Mm. Unless he finds her good looking. Yeah. To give some context, kung familiar kayo sa everything, everywhere, all, all at, at once. once. <laughs> yeah. We have to dissect that pa. Oh, no, <laughs> So yung bagel? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't literally say na kinuhan nung film director yung concept na yun kay Arthur Schopenhauer, but kinda like ganun yung tinutukoy niya sa philosophy niya. He's one of the philosophers na inadapt niya yung Eastern philosophy, yung Buddhism and Hinduism. Uh-huh. And he is also a follower of Immanuel Kant. Mm, so yeah, believer yeah, yeah. si Kant ng higher being. Okay? Right, right. Si Arthur Schopenhauer, there's no God, there's only will. Who's so, Will? Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Yung simampal kay Christian. Yung Will, nandun yun sa book niya. Marami siyang hiniram kay Kant na philosophy. And kasama dun yung thing in itself na parang hindi ito talaga yung reality and everything. But there's no God. There's mm. only a will. It's like a metaphysical something na makes us strive para masatisfy natin yung will. Imagine being that guy, right? Mm. And not believing in God, but believing in an energy inside yeah, a metaphysical yeah. energy that... No, it's not... Imagine just like, no, it's not... God, it's not God, it's will. Oh, it's will. And you're just like, oh, how do you like, how do you write that out? How- During his time, si Charles Darwin, dun na siya pinanganak, and ah, yun okay. yung theory of evolution and stuff. Right, so, dun right, na correct. Right. Nah, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. We move forward tayo into something more practical. So, dun papasok yung existentialism. Right. So, nalaman mo na we're just a tiny speck in the universe. Oh. Atheist existentialist philosopher, si Simone de Beauvoir. Oh. French. Yeah. Love let us reach beyond ourselves. So, ang context nun, okay. uh, love gives us the desire to integrate with one another to make life more meaningful. Yeah. So, what can you say about yeah, that? Yeah, that's true. Kasi if you believe in God, then may purpose na automatically yung life mo eh. Uh-huh. Diba? Is to live like God, be Christ-like, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But kung walang God, what is the purpose then? Mm-hmm. Nakikita niya yung meaning when doing things with your partner. But not necessarily yeah. completing you as a person. Yeah. Parang nagdadagdag siya ng meaning sa buhay mo. Yeah. Parang yun yung 
simple explanation. Lang. Yeah. Ako, I love making connections. Mm. I enjoy, although I am an introvert, I okay. enjoy making meaningful connections. Like, I, I pick and choose talaga. I like experiencing things with people. But on, there are some experiences that are heightened by your solitude, okay. that are heightened by being with someone, and also that are heightened by being with someone specific. Yeah. Diba? So, it, I, I definitely agree with that. I don't necessarily know if that is the meaning of life, okay. but yeah. it definitely squeezes more out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Out of the experience. A good pairing. Hmm. You know? Yeah. Like, you know, you can eat steak by itself, like oh. a nice steak by itself, but if you pair it with like a good red wine, oh. the experience becomes more enjoyable. Parang ganan. Okay. Parang ganan. Very nice. But like, it's not a must to, yeah. to drink Actually. red wine with eating steak. Uh, Ikaw, what do you think about it? I think, to begin with, yung philosophy niya is existentialism. And ang pinopromote nila kasi is to be yourself. Mm-hmm. Si partner mo is addition to the meaning of your life. It is. Parang ganun siya. It is. Kasi but, mm-hmm. what happens is when you lose yourself and your partner, you live their life eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you live life with their rules, how they want it. For our last quote, the most important thing in life is to learn how to give out love and to let it come in. Let it come in. We think we don't deserve love. We think if we let it in, we'll become too soft. But a wise man named Levine said it right. He said, love is the only rational act. Yeah. So what do you think about the quote? Do you what agree did with you it? think first? Because ako, mm. I see myself then as a, a hopeless romantic. Eh. So okay. when something like rationality is brought up in the context of love. I need to recalibrate it. Because I believe that it's rational to do certain things yeah. for love that others might see as irrational. Okay. Now I'm calibrating the bus because so, mm-hmm. it's <clears throat> okay. it's different for me. But so I want to know about what you think first. I see. Well, for me, I think totoo yung love is the only rational act. Mm-hmm. What okay. makes it rational first? I can use the concept of neuroscience. Mm-hmm. And number two, concept ng several philosophers that I can relate why love should be rational. Okay, okay. Okay. So, din mo sa neuroscience, no? Okay. Whenever we meet somebody that we like or we quote-unquote love, yes, it's true. Uh, like a drug? Yeah, like a drug. May mga oxytocin na nililili, yeah, dopamine, yeah. habang tumatagal, nababawasan yun, whether you yeah. like it or not. Kung dati, first date nyo pa lang. Sobrang na, infatuated yeah, mo. Yeah, sobrang infatuated mo. Yeah. Sobrang natatandaan mo lahat ng mga sinasabi niya. Mm-mm. It's because of the chemical reactions in your brain. Yeah. Habang pag tumatagal kayo sa relasyon, medyo nakakalimutan mo na yung ibang mga details. Pag nagiging common na eh. Correct. That's, that's where love comes in. Conscious yeah. decision. Yeah, I believe So kung babalikan natin yung mga quotes, Schopenhauer might be right partially, but I think na-outweigh nung apat na quotes before, yeah. yung pagiging choice ni love mm-hmm. rather than just a chemical reaction of the brain. Mm-hmm. Another one that I can relate, philosopher Emmanuel Kant. Mm-hmm. Sinabi niya, yung moral actions are duty. Para malaman natin kung ano yung moral action, it should be against our inclination. Kuna sa charity, in-invite ka. Mm-hmm. And then, you're a singer. Pumunta ka dun to sing. Dalawang intentions mo, to sing and to help yung mga cancer right, patients. Right. How can you know that it's a moral act? Uh-huh. According to Kant. Right. Well, yes, it can be moral. Pumayag ka. But uh-huh. we can never know, surely, kung moral act talaga yun. Kasi, anong malay ba natin? Baka, ang purpose mo lang is to show off your talent. Baka second lang yung ano. That's what we were talking about also, di ba? Na parang, I, I read in this book called Awareness. Yeah? I think it was written by a Jesuit priest. I read it when I was 16. Okay. So, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. There is always some level of selfishness when yeah. you do charitable acts. Okay. Kasi, di ba, parang, why did you go there? Or why did you perform? Or why did you... Parang, it's for the people. But also, are you showing off your yeah. singing skills? Are you are you showing off that, hey, I am giving money to charity. That yeah. makes me a good person. Di ba? Yes. So, it, it will help others also. But is it purely a selfless act? Yeah. Diba? So, it was an interesting perspective yeah. that was introduced to me by that book. Oh, cool. Mm-mm. Yan, medyo Kantian siya. Masasabi natin 100% moral yung isang action according to Kant. Mm-hmm. If it's so, something you wouldn't do? Yeah, you wouldn't do but you did because it's the right thing to do. For example, mm-hmm. hindi talaga ako kumakanta. 
But hypothetical lang. Ah, yeah. yes. But I made this, I, parang mapapahiya ko. Yeah, but Uh-oh. I sang for them. That's against my inclination. <clears throat> but I did it because it's the right thing to do. Okay, that makes parang sense. Ganon. Then yeah, that's most definitely a charitable act yeah. because you don't really sing. You're uh, not doing it to show off. You're uh, purely doing it for the, the, the kids or whatever. The kids. So, kung okay. i-relate natin yun, dapat sa love, binded with moral actions. Mm-hmm. So, mapapansin natin, when we really love someone, we do things out of our inclination. Like, you're doing things that you don't normally do para mapasaya mo siya. Or yeah. para mag-last yung relationship niyo. Yeah. How I understood that, okay. quote, yung, the most important thing we can learn yeah. is how to give out love. It's giving me no man is an island vibes. It's so important because I think we as humans are social creatures. Okay. Even the most introverted person needs someone. Mm-hmm. Diba? Even the most introverted person has like a pet yeah. or something. They're very social. Mm-hmm. And to learn how to give love and to receive it also yeah. is because something I, I really enjoy saying about myself is I'm a creature of love. I'm so very love-driven. I love chasing after the feeling of love. Yeah. Not just the high okay. of it, you know, not just kilig. It's like, you know, when you're gathered with friends and then you have such a great night of drinking and camaraderie and then you're just like, man, that was such a good night. Mm-hmm. Or when you have like a heart to heart talk with your sibling or your cousin or your mom or your dad, or when you get to spend a night with your significant other where you're not really doing anything at all you're just in in the same room and but you're so comfortable yeah. and you don't have to say anything or do anything you're just there enjoying each other's company i like being surrounded by that that's why i made this podcast because mm. there are so many people out there who feel alone who need to feel loved i have love to give yeah you know i say that a lot diba you edit my stuff i yeah. i say that a lot parang you are loved you're gonna to i want people to feel that that's not just like coming from like a place of like you know how you know what people love to say nowadays like cloud chaser or whatever mm. you're just saying that for like the cloud blah blah i am not yeah it's something that i really want to do i started sleeping pill because similar kinds of content made me feel loved when I needed it and I wanted to give it back. And that has made me feel so fulfilled. I like what he said na parang the most important thing is to learn how to give love and to receive it is because a lot of things come from love. Yeah. When you find a passion, it's because you have a love for it. When and you want to share that love with people, you know, you, you find that passion and you love it so much and then you give it back. Yeah. To others, when people make art, when people cook food, when people sign up for it makes them feel good to sing, so they'll show off a little bit. That's receiving love and then giving love back because it's, you know, it's helping the kids. That's why I always say that it's okay to be selfish to a certain extent, as long as you're not sacrificing the well being of others, as long as you're not sacrificing your own well being. Mm -hmm. Be selfish. Love yourself, be selfish in a healthy way. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's a good thing. Of course, it's, you I know, see. everything in, in moderation, in moderation, right? Yeah. Don't, don't do everything all at once or like, don't be greedy about it. But I think it's okay to be a little selfish. Like if you're going to do something for the kids to help them, why not get a little reward for yourself, diba? It, mm-hmm. it, it helps make you want to keep doing good things for others okay. if it makes you feel good. I feel like that's part of the most important thing is to learn how to love and to receive love. It's a give and take. It's always an exchange, oh, right? Oh, I see. To me lang, that's how I absorb ah. it. So, lastly, ikaw ba? Hmm. Meron ka bang quote that parang magiging heirloom mo yung quote na yun? What is love to you? In one word. Um, love is blank. Love is a verb. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. John Mayer. John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> love ain't a thing. Love is a verb. Yeah. For me, love is respect. Oh. Love is synonymous to respect. There's a, there are many people who say love is trust, love is like this, love is like that. Love is respect for me because I feel like it also is an umbrella thing. Mm. It encompasses trust. Mm. It encompasses time. Yeah. Right? Because people are like, love is time. I want to spend time with you, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Which is also very valid. In my experience, love is respect because as soon as respect disappears, mm. that is not love anymore. Mm, okay. That is possession. That is obsession. Yeah. Diba? 
That is my quotable quote that I will pass on to my kids and grandkids and stuff. The love is respect. When you respect someone and when you are respected, they will not betray your trust. You will not betray theirs. Okay. You will speak highly of them and they will speak highly of you. You will give them your time and you will not waste their time. We are the modern of <laughs> philosophers. <laughs> May mga similarities naman yung point of view natin about love. Kasi oh, sa akin, yeah. love is a verb. It requires commitment talaga. Mm-hmm. And yung mga nabanggit natin doon is under commitment. When you're committed, there's an action mm-hmm. and there's a choice. Mm-hmm. Hindi siya yung feeling lang. Hindi mm-hmm. siya fleeting feeling. Mm-hmm. But rather, a choice. Yeah, you're right. That's where the love comes in. Mm-hmm. Parang the action itself. I, I follow this guy. He's a therapist mm-hmm. on, on TikTok. I will send you his videos. Okay. Very, I love his stuff. He says... Past all those phases, past the honeymoon phase and all these things, when you guys are annoyed at each other na, and you know each other's whatever, bajo, uh, literally or figuratively speaking, that's where the opportunity of true love begins. Yeah. When you know each other's like, they have the tendency to be like this, they have the tendency to be like that, and yeah. yet you love them anyway, and yet you do your best to help them, ganito, you don't enable them, you, you mga ganon. Yeah. yeah. I think nasabi ko na to sa'yo, but for the sake of our listeners, kung familiar kayo sa the Trine Brain Theory, the reptilian mind. Ah, yeah, you told me about yeah. this, Diego. Paleo mammalian mind. And number three is the neo-mammalian brain. According to theory of evolution, we're actually high-functioning apes. May pagka-animalistic yung nature natin. Punta muna tayo sa reptilian mind. Yun yung, for example, nagba-volleyball ka or nagba-basketball ka. Kuna rin nasagi kang ganun. Mm-mm. Automatic ang response mo ganun ka din eh. Yeah. Diba? Animalistic instinct, di ba? Yeah. And yung paleo mammalian mind, doon naman responsible yung ating empathy. So, okay. as you can see, kahit mga aso, mga pusa. They have that. They have that kind of empathy. Yeah. Yun yung mga... Compartment ng brain natin na responsible for those emotions yeah. or those instincts. You know, yesterday, my cat, because mm-hmm. I have a special cat, special uh-huh. needs cat, he gets seizures. Uh-huh. So he was having a seizure yesterday afternoon. So I was just holding him. And then my dog, si Raku, he went up. Yeah. And then he was smelling, and huh? then he was like, "Oh, oh, parang worried siya, yeah, oh, worried siya." So, so yun, that's the one. Oh, oh paleo mamalian. Well, we cannot fully call it love, kasi instinctive siya. Yeah. So dun papasok yung choice sa third one sa neocortex or the neo mammalian brain, because dun papasok yung ano abstract reasoning, logic, morals. Mga that's something stuff. that humans have. Yeah, yung fully developed. Kasi yeah. uh, yung mga ibang hayop like. Nade-develop siya, pero hindi sing develop natin. Right. Tayo, tayo may pinaka-develop na neo-mammalian part right. of the brain. Right. Yun yung essence kasi ng, ng mga simba or ng mga uh, meditation. I Sorry. thought simba? I was like, simba, the lion? The, lion. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the church. Right, right, right. I think right, uh, yeah. yun yung pinaka-practical explanation of worship Mm-mm. or meditation Mm-mm. is to be in touch with your neocortex. Our actions are often influenced by our reptilian mind, paleo mammalian mind. Right, right. So, kaya tayo nagiging reactive minsan or right. a lot of times. Right, and that's why we need the neocortex. Yeah. That's what separates us. Yun yung kung ano yung ginagamit natin. Uh-oh. Yun yung mas nag-work. Oo, tama, tama, tama. <laughs> so, yun yung goal ng mga sinasabi sa atin sa religion, sa meditation. And then that's where true love comes in. Yeah. With that neocortex. Yes. Ano? We learn to love with reason. Mm-hmm. So we apply what we learn about with how our mo- yeah, morals. And that's why love is the most rational act. Yes. <laughs> hey, thanks for having yeah. me on your show. Thank you. Babalik ako.